Earlier in the week, we talked about a woman who was sacked for being slack on the job after her employer tracked her keystrokes on her laptop as she's working from home and found there wasn't a lot of work being done from home at all. They tracked her keystrokes for 49 days and found she started work late on 47 days, failed to finish her rostered hours on 44 days, finished early on 29 days and didn't do any work at all on four days. Now, Susie Chico didn't like being sacked, so she went to the Fair, Fair Work Commission. That generated a whole lot of publicity. She didn't get her job back, but now she's become famous, which she's not happy about because she's saying it's affecting her ability to get another job. So, <laughs> Caleb and Liz, what do you do when you don't want so much publicity? You, you don't want people talking about you. I'll tell you what you do. You make a TikTok video. Yes! You don't understand. I'm actually getting harassed. Like I've had, I literally just had news reporters here. This has never happened to me before. And for what? Something that's very emotional and very private. I never even spoke about it on social media. I'm literally getting harassed through Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok. Like what do you want me to do? I can't get a job. <laughs> I love that. I'm being harassed on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn. You might want to follow me. Listen, uh, if you want... And now no one wants to hire me because, well, I, didn't, I don't work. It's, it's almost like she thought, I'm getting too much publicity. What should I do? I'll ring Harry and Meghan and see what they will do. <laughs> Listen, if, if you want to be employable, maybe, um, you know, actually work, maybe try and stay out of the news. And, and here's a tip as well. If you want to get another job, maybe don't put on your LinkedIn profile that you're currently employed employed by TikTok. <laughs> Literally, that's what her LinkedIn profile <laughs> says. Oh I, I mean, there's a couple of things to discuss about this. Firstly is uh, this lady's response. And then more seriously, uh, what's appropriate for employers when it comes to monitoring work from home? Can, do we want to talk about this lady anymore? <laughs> or should we go no, no, to no, let's, let's talk about it. Because it is... I, I love the parallel with Harry and Meghan, right? Like the global privacy yes. to her. And that's exactly <laughs> what she's doing. Oh, my God, how dare you say that I did the wrong the thing? The media's been here. Look at me, look at me, it's so bad. Like, are, are people genuinely that dumb that they're like, oh, my God, I really don't want anyone to know about me at the moment, so I'm going to do a live <laughs> stream on TikTok to tell everyone that I don't want them to watch me. Like, how it, dumb can you be? Yeah, I mean, she clearly didn't know, though, that her employer was monitoring or could would monitor... I very much doubt no, that employers access yeah. this kind of data. It, it, she'd I mean, already been warned that, that she was being watched. She was on, like, oh, a she was. She was on yeah, a yeah. Yeah, warning. Yeah. She's already oh, been crying out up. loud. She's already been pulled up And yet not still working. no no admission of, like, yeah, yeah look, I did Apparently. the wrong thing. It's more just like, how dare you? I like... She said in her defence, she said, look, it's true, I went to the shops occasionally. <laughs> 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 Look, at go. least she's honest about it. It, it does I raise suppose. the question, though, the serious question. It has started debate around the place as to uh, how much should employers be allowed to monitor people working from home? We took to the streets today and asked you what you thought. If someone works from home, that their employer tracks their keystrokes so that they know whether that person's actually working from home, do you think that's fair? Absolutely not. That's because every employer has their own privacy, their own life outside of their company. Oh, no, no, of course not. No. Uh, I think it's fair to make sure that you're doing like the work that you're doing properly. Um, but yet again, I think it depends on the company, it depends on everything around it. No, I don't think so. Why is that? They should have some faith in you. <laughs> no, they should be working in the office. <laughs> I think yes. Um, you know, at school we were, like, monitored for everything, so I don't see the difference if you're working and you're meant to be working. I feel like there's multiple ways to work from home. Like, you could have a PC, laptop, iPad that you could work on, so just having one thing to monitor is unfair to base, like, judgement off of that. Uh, no, it shouldn't. I think it's an a invention of their privacy. Yes, as long as it's during official working hours. Outside hours, no. Yeah, I think they should, because how else would you know that, um, like, people are actually doing their job? Yeah. I mean, you're being paid to do a certain job, and if you're being tracked to make sure you're doing it, that's only fair. Hell no. <laughs> I thought it was really interesting, Caleb, that the younger people tended to be more in favour 
of bosses monitoring staff. Mm, mm. Uh, maybe, I guess, because they've grown up in that sort of world. So, you know, you talk about maybe joining a gym and all of a sudden gymnasium advertisements come up on Instagram. So you're used to being monitored and so it's not that unfamiliar. Well, Mr Hell No there might want to check his emails in the morning because his <laughs> boss might have been watching that and <laughs> yes. wondering why he said uh, Hell No in response <laughs> to that question. I'm in two minds about this because I get the argument, right, that if you're paying this person... And, look, you know, I'm, I'm well and truly on the record about the fact that I think everyone should be in the office, not at home, but we'll leave that to one side. But I get that the employee employer is well within their rights to want to make sure that an employee is doing what they're meant to do and they want to have some oversight over them if they're working from home like they might have in an office. You can kind of gauge whether someone's doing their work or not when you can actually eyeball them. But by the same token, it does feel a bit big brother. Mm. And if you start allowing your employer to put software on your computer to track your keystrokes... I think it's a genuine question. Is this only within working hours? Can you actually turn this thing off so that you don't know the private messages I'm sending late at night or whatever it might be? I, 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 it does worry me a bit. That's the most basic technology. The key, keystroke measurement is the yeah. most basic technology. Because I was reading today that some companies, they can take screenshots of your laptop screen at any moment Ooh. if they've got that software just to make I'm, sure that you're doing the right thing. level. I think it comes down to... Obviously, with working from home, there's a measure of trustworthiness and trust mm. from both sides. And I imagine it would only be the underperformers where employers go to the lengths of looking into that kind of data. There's no way there's someone monitoring everyone's keystrokes from it. Some people have hundreds of employees. I think it would be once they've identified this person's basically useless, that they would then access that data and go, now we've found <laughs> out why. <laughs> well, if, well, if they do monitor your keystrokes and they decide you're no good, they might replace you with a migrant worker and 